What's up guys, Sal here. So let's cut right to the chase. A few days ago, we got a report from South Korea mentioning that Samsung is working on Exynos 2400 chipset for 2024. Many people believe that Exynos chips are coming back on Samsung flagships, specifically the Galaxy S24 lineup, while others believe that there's absolutely no chance Samsung would use Exynos chips again on their top-of-the-line phones considering their lackluster performance recently and considering how well the Snapdragon chips with TSMC production are performing on the S23 lineup. Today, we have some more inside information from credible sources, giving us an idea of what in the world is going on with Samsung and Exynos team, and whether or not we would see the Exynos make a return with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. There are two reports here, one is from Business Korea and another from Trend Force. Both of them have a good reputation, and both of them are saying that Samsung's MX division, aka their mobile division, has greenlit the Exynos 2400 for mass production for use on on the Galaxy S24 lineup. You might wonder why would they want to do that since everyone was happy with the performance and battery life of the S23 Ultra because of the Snapdragon chip. Why would they want to use a chip that everyone despises? Well, it all boils down to Samsung's purchasing power. Business Korea reports that after going all in with the Snapdragon chip for the S23 lineup, Samsung's purchasing power dropped. Because Samsung was using two chips for their flagships all these years, they could better negotiate the price with Qualcomm and reduce the unit price of Snapdragon chips. They couldn't do that with the S23 because they decided not to use Exynos chips and gave Qualcomm the upper hand in price negotiations. As a result, the chips now cost Samsung 77% more than last year, which is huge. This reduced their profit margins and it's the biggest reason why they want to bring back the Exynos 2400 on the S24 lineup. To be honest, I personally don't give a damn about Samsung's profit margins. When I'm paying them over $1,000 for their premium offerings, I expect a device that performs like a premium offering that can compete with the best of the competition. I don't want a phone that is a year behind in performance and has worse battery life. Exynos has gotten so much bad publicity over the years, it would be wise for Samsung to just get rid of it and start from scratch and build their own chipset, which is what they're in fact already doing. But don't use Exynos 2400 on the S24, this would only piss people off and would hurt the sales. Thankfully, the report also mentions that Exynos 2400 still has heating issues, so Samsung could either use it in limited quantities as they did with the S22 or not use it at all. Let's hope that the chip turns out so bad that they have no choice but to go with the Snapdragon all over yet again. That said, the S24 Ultra will only have 3 cameras instead of 4 and that's a good thing. To know why, click here and I'll see you there.